Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. That's right, we're coming back at you, 5th, 5th of February. We had the RBA come out and really not say too, too much, but Aussie went pretty big here. Uh, we're up at 72.60, kind of up about 45 ticks. This this is the fade up here as, as far as we're concerned in this sort of um, 55 to 70 range. We'll be fading this Aussie for just an intraday trade moves back down to sort of that 1520 uh, end of the day today. Uh, as far as the calendar is concerned, we got Euro Services PMI, Eurozone retail sales this morning, U.S. trade and non-manufacturing ISM tonight. We also have Trump's State of the Union. Um, it should be mildly amusing or stupid or depending on your prerogative, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how he defends his wall and his shutdown and, I don't know, mildly interesting to hear what he has to say about a lot of stuff, uh, even though normally everything he says I, I don't really like, but should be followed if you are in North America. If you're in Europe, don't stay up for it. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at these charts today, see what we're looking at. We tried a late fade on those, on the equities last night. Um, we were looking to get short in that sort of 28 to 38 area. The high uh, was 25 and a half. Did not uh, enter into that. We're still on the, of the same mind that as this um, fluffs around here underneath the 200 day, 27.45, you want to try and have a tradable core short, uh, and then once you get up to 27.45, you just want to put on a short. My colleague in Paris put out a little tweet yesterday talking about how he thinks uh, equities can go up to 2,800. That's his view, uh, and it's something you need to take into consideration. This isn't um, this isn't going to be super straightforward. There are a lot of uh, conflicting pieces of data. Obviously the U.S. economy is in, in decent shape as far as employment is concerned. My problem is I think these rates are, are going to be moving higher and we saw that starting yesterday. Um, and as rates go higher you'll just see a rotation out of stocks. Um, let's look at these rates while we're talking about it. Uh, this is a long um, this is the T-bond uh, future. Dropped a point yesterday, now it's back at uh, 145.11. We, we see this continuing today. Uh, we're looking, this should probably break this 144.29 and then eventually attack this 144.11 level. Um, as these rates go higher, um, we, you know, we're seeing dollar appreciation. So, dollar Swiss traded up to 94 yesterday. This core long dollar Swiss idea to catch the market um, sort of offsides is again a theme we're going to be playing today. Obviously, JP Morgan and a lot of the banks are asking people to sell Aussie UBS as well as that. Uh, sell Aussie as sell dollar Swiss at this 99.90 level um, with a stop just above 10010. So we have kind of offer stacked up here. Um, so maybe the plan should probably be why don't we just wait for 10006 to trade to add to this position. So here we're core long to tradable long, trying to get a better average. And then once we break uh, 10006, we will expect the stops at 10, 12, and 15 to get done. And the first resistance we see is uh, 10035. And so we'll use that 06 to sort of 35 to hold, and then we'll, it'll become a tradable long again up in the 30s. So that's the dollar Swiss plan. Uh, crappy little pair to trade, so uh, we keep it pretty light, I have to say, in the, when we trade dollar Swiss. 
Euro yesterday did what we asked it to do. It was agonizingly slow. Traded down to 25, and now we've been jerking around between 25 and 40. Uh, we do expect this through 25 today at the open. A little bit more of what happened yesterday. Cable also finally broke this uh, famous 130.50 level. It was not the trapdoor we were hoping for. In fact, uh, as you can see, we had this move back to 130.102, which looked like it was just taking out uh, CTA momentum stop. So CTA guy hits 49s or hits 48s, leaves a 98 stop. Um, market jams in, and now here we are right back down, but um, my point is, cable as always is, is difficult to trade, pain in the ass, um, but we do like US dollar higher, so cable should ease lower. Uh, we just had some, f we just had some numbers out of Japan, uh, well actually it wasn't numbers, Kuroda was uh, saying We have no, we had January services PMI, which were, which came in higher. So dollar yen just took a little uh, little nip down here to 84. Again, we like this higher. Um, we got what we wanted yesterday with that move to 16. This is now a tradable long. It's a reload here between 60 and 74. So. You gotta keep your eye on risk. If risk is steady, dollar yen will float back higher. But if risk is not steady, your horse should be euros for long dollars, because euro yen will go lower. Speaking of euros, uh, one last little little kicker: euro yen, which we completely don't understand, uh, has come down with this Japanese PMI as well. We've got European numbers today, as we mentioned. We got these PMIs and re retail sales today. Um, these numbers need to be closely watched because obviously the European data set has been very, very weak going into last week, um, and there's no reason to think this is going to change and get stronger. So, if the numbers get weak, it gives you more more confidence on euro dollar shorts or you could possibly uh, enter into some sort of euro yen short but again I don't understand euro yen it really caught me off guard on Friday that move so I'm staying away from euro yen for the moment and I'm expressing my euro displeasure through euro dollar shorts anyway I've said enough um, well, I guess one last thing this dollars are we think this has turned quickly, core long. I mean, and just to be clear, there's a million ways to express dollar longs, right? It could be dollars are, that's a way to express longs when it's risk off. It could be euro dollar, dollar longs when Europe sucks. It could be cable, dollar longs when you're worried about Brexit. Kind of pick your poison. Um, we like to dabble in a couple of different ones and some of them we trade more aggressively, some of them we hold. Uh, but keep in mind, all of these positions are kind of the same position, so you kind of have to pick and choose which one you are most interested in. Okay, therefore, I have said enough for the second time. Good luck today, traders. Make loads of dough. Ciao.